I'm Steve for This Week with Cars, and today I thought I would finally start on my Morris Beach Car. If you want to know more about the Mini Beach Cars, watch my previous video where I talked about where I found this car and a little bit more about the Mini Beach Cars. One really neat thing about Minis is their VIN tags can tell you a whole lot about the car. So if we take a look at the VIN tag on this car, the first digit is an M, and that means that this car is a Morris. Other options you could have here are A, which is a regular Austin, a C, which would be a Cooper version of an Austin, a K, which would be a Cooper version of a Morris, an R for Riley, and a W for Woosley's. The next digit is an A, which you will find on all classic minis because they all use the A series engine. Now this next digit is the most interesting, and that is a Y, which means that this has the body style of a beach car. Most commonly you will see a 2S here which is for the saloon version which is the regular body style of a Mini. You could also have a B for Moke, a U for pickup, a V for van, and a W for estate. This next digit is a 1 on all beach cars. It's also a 1 on the Riley Elf, the Woosley Hornet, and both the Austin and Morris Mokes. Next digit is an L which means this is a left-hand drive car. I'm not sure how many beach cars were in left-hand drive, but this one was originally sold in America, so it is left-hand drive. And then the last digits over here are the actual numerical car number for the car. I have here the British Motor Industry Heritage Trust certificate for this car. This is the birth certificate of the car, and it tells all of the information. Now if we look in the engine bay here, you can see that it is actually white. The outside of the car has been painted red. The story goes that the, it was painted Budweiser red, uh, basically when it was brand new. And if we look down here on the heritage certificate, it says the exterior is snowberry white and tartan red. So this car did have a white body with a red roof. Now under trim, it says red wicker basket seats. Unfortunately, the wicker seats have seat covers on them, so I think I'm going to pull those off today. And I'm not exactly sure, but I think what it means by red wicker seats is that the frames on the seats are red, and then it has, of course, the wicker seats. So the seat cover is held on on the back by these fasteners here. I'm not sure what these are, might be brads. And then on the bottom of the seat, they're held on by staples. There's also this webbing that was obviously added because it's stapled over the top of the seat covers. I'm a little afraid that uh, they put this webbing in because maybe the wicker started to fall apart. I'm not sure, but I hope these seats are still in good shape. It looks like the only thing holding these seats in is two bolts on each of the brackets. So I think it probably makes sense just to take the seat out and try to take the seat cover off with it out of the car. I'm not sure how these things work, so hopefully I can pull one out. Let's see exactly what it is. Ah, it's just a nail with a decorative head. So those should come off pretty easy. There's an extra nail that has been added there. That nail might be a little hard to get out of there. I guess there's one on this side as well. Actually, there's nails hidden under a bunch of these. So they just kind of stuck these decorative pieces right next to the nails. There's none up here, but there are a few nails along the sides. Not sure how I'm going to get to those nails. Those are really stuck in there. OK, 
Yeah, I need to be careful pulling those out because it seems like it's putting a lot of pressure on the wicker. So I think my best bet is to just pull it through this material so that I don't damage any of the wicker structure behind it. The seat cover really changed the shape of the seat. You can see how there was this cavity here that was covered up by the seat cover. So that's gonna look a lot different with the seat cover off. I don't know if you can see that, but these nails have a lot of ridges on them. So they're really stuck into that wicker. All right, I'm a little afraid to take out these four nails. They are really stuck in there. So I think I'm going to concentrate now on all of these staples. That's not good. They glued this foam down to the wicker. So that's gonna be a mess to clean up over there. So this is our front view of our wicker seats. Luckily the glue is not holding on this part anymore but it is certainly held pretty good up here still. I'm not sure what a good way of cleaning this up is going to be. If you have any suggestions on how I can clean the foam off of this wicker, comment in the comments below. Looks like the wicker has become completely separated over here on this side, so the seat probably about ruined. They were using these straps to hold everything together. So I'm gonna to try to remove the cover, but leave the straps in place if I can. So I'll just have to pull the cover out from underneath those straps if I can get that to work. Now the difficult job of trying to get this off. I guess that's far easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, for the first time, let's take a look at our wicker seat here. We've got a lot of nice wicker there. But unfortunately, it is broken along this edge. A broken here along the front as well. The rest of it looks in all right shape. If it didn't have all the foam stuck to it. Luckily, it looks like they put some tape or something over that area there. Some kind of Clear silicone squirted in here in places as well. 
It's going to make it even more of a mess to clean up. I've set the seat back in the car. What a mess this thing is. But you can see if it was cleaned up, it would give quite a different look than what these seat covers did. The covers and the foam really changed the, the shape of what that seat looked like. I hope I haven't ruined my car, but these wicker seats are a huge part of what a beach car is. So I think that being able to see them is a lot better than seeing these seat covers. Well, I think that's it for today. If you have any suggestions on cleaning up this wicker seat, let me know and maybe I'll try your suggestion in the next video. If you want to see more videos about the one and only Morris Beach Car, comment below and click subscribe. Oh, my God.